up guys welcome back to the channel happy new year to you guys uh this is basically i think when i post this up it's gonna be the first week of january so happy new year's to everybody but today's an exciting day so we're gonna be heading out to riverside because we're gonna go pick up ruby and we're gonna bring her over here back um to the new shop so we're gonna be finishing up the car here now instead so right now we're gonna this is new year's eve right now at the moment uh, so we're doing all this super last minute. So let's head out to Riverside, go pick up my car. All right, so we're finally here. So we're gonna be taking Ruby home today. Look at that. Still looks clean, but she does need quite a bit of work done. And if you guys saw my last video of what was happening. So we got a bit of work to do on fixing quite a few things here and there all right so i'm right here gonna help rudy out on moving this car over and then we'll come back and move these two cars out and then we'll grab mine all right so since we're here waiting uh we just got back we dropped off the first car and right now um uh, we're gonna actually load up some toolboxes for rudy get those out of here and then we'll be heading uh back get my car on but since we're here waiting, I wanted to go over with you guys on exactly what we have to fix on this thing. So right now, we got a, as you guys can see, fitment's not doing too well right here now. And then we have the fender that's all bent. So this got, this is where I was talking about where we had the little carts on the bottom so we could roll the car around. And these are all metal not fiberglass or anything like that but so all the welds and bodywork cracked right here and up here you guys can see that all that broke apart this of course vent is all bent inward pushing the side skirt over there got the door right here all around the edge so we got basically this fender we have to redo it now at this point so that's one Two would be over here where apparently when they, they were trying to, when they broke into the car, they tried putting a pry bar up against the trunk right here, the bottom of the trunk right there, and scratched it up going upward. And then they were trying to steal the wheels, the other wheels, the SSR wheels that were on there. And then interior wise, I haven't been, I have not sat in this car in a long time. Damn, it's been a minute since I've been in here. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, I love this. Um, but yeah, so they ripped out the whole center part right here. So they ended up taking the JDM double trim, just literally just cut wires. They unplugged what they could unplug, everything else. They just snipped it away. And I think I think this one was, was for the boost controller. So now I need to get another boost controller because they just took that along with the whole center console and then now we have the dash really fucked up up here you see it cracked it looks like because normally you're supposed to take this off and if you're tugging up on this you're pushing this upward so we got cracked dash all through here now so now we got to redo the dash as well luckily they didn't take the pilot controller they left that but i don't even know what this what this went to this i know was the boost controller i think i hope and yeah i don't know what else is missing here so i need to figure out what's what at this point but luckily we are going to be replacing this with the tesla screen from workshop 12. all right so we got ruby parked out front right here uh or out back here with that, that lavender pearl I always say I want to change the color, but then when I see her like this, I'm like, nah, never mind. I want to keep it how it is right now. But right now we're waiting on Ruby to come back with the trailer and then we'll start loading up.
go home for one. Is it? You yeah. Go home with one. Yeah, it'll be fine. I've had a I've had a car hold with none. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't the one towing it though, but. All right, so we finally have Ruby all loaded up. I cannot wait to get my baby back at the shop so I can have her with me. And yeah, it was definitely a pain to get this thing up because the exhaust is just hanging from the back end. So it got caught when we were pushing this thing up and it was giving us some trouble. But right now we're all loaded up and then also the rear does kind of air out a little bit quick because it's got an air leak that I got to fix as well, which I think I was on this side because the other side has an actual real airline. So, you know, yeah, we got a lot of little things to fix here and there. So it's about 8.13 p.m., New Year's Eve. So again, Happy New Year's to you guys if you guys are watching this right now. Uh, it's New Year's Eve right now, 8.13, and we got a two hour drive back home. So we're barely gonna make it just before midnight. So let's get going. So we can unload Ruby, all the stuff that we have in the back. We have exhaust that we had a, that's not on the car. The tranny's not on the car. The differential is not on the car all the turbo piping is in boxes and stuff like that. We got a lot to put together. All right, so we finally just got back. Definitely a bit of a drive. But here we are, Ruby, finally back home. And then we are here at the shop, so we're gonna end up having to park her. Right now, for now, for tonight, she's staying on the car, on the trailer. We're gonna leave the truck and the trailer all attached and stuff, because we don't wanna, <laughs> deal with any of this stuff it's an hour before new year's so we're just gonna load some of the stuff that we have back here we have ruby's transmission some totes and exhaust parts and stuff like that we're gonna just throw that stuff inside it all right guys so it is the next day it is the first of the month look at that you can see the lavender pearl shining through on ruby so it's the first of the month. Happy New Year, you guys. Uh, but right, right now, what I'm gonna do is pull the truck in. We're gonna pull it up inside. We're gonna unload Ruby. We gotta air up the car again since, uh, you know, it's got the air leak, so the car ended up airing itself out. All right, so the plan is for right now, um, since we have Ruby on the trailer, I was gonna pull her in right now. And then I was like, wait, I have no room <laughs> to put the car in here. So uh, right now, what we're gonna be doing is getting this car back to the owner. In the meantime, since we're waiting on parts, you guys will see more on this wide body 350Z. I know you guys have seen it on the channels before. Um, move everything that's back there, get it all out of the way, organize it over here somehow, get Ruby parked over there. This car is going back home because I need to wrap that car that's outside over there, that Ultima. The Ultima is getting wrapped. And then once that Ultima is getting wrapped, this thing will come back and we'll finish this thing up. But <laughs> yeah, in the meantime, um, well, Ruby's going to be parked back there. All right, guys. So this is basically where Ruby's going to be parked at. So it's been actually a couple days later. And um, yeah, this is where we parked her at. I wanted to, you know, take some pictures, videos right here, finish the video with Ruby right here. But the rear end was leaking a lot quicker than we wanted. So I didn't want to be like having to air up the car every now and then just to keep the rear end up so we could roll her around. So instead, you know, I just put her in here and that's where she's gonna be at for now. But um, right now, the priority for the car, uh, aside from me having to actually you know, work, right now I'm wrapping this car. Um, I'm gonna try to stick to weekends to work on this thing, because there is a lot to fix, but the, uh, the priority is gonna be to get the car up and running. So first things first, you know, we're gonna finish putting the other motor together, which is over there. And so the motor's right there. We have it out here because we're going to be putting this thing back together. But once we have that put back together, a little sneak peek, color pops. But once we have that put back together, um, we have the tranny in the back of the truck still. Put it all back together, put the turbos on, put the heads on, um, on the other turbo. Get all the accessories off this motor, the, you know, the Cosworth, the valve covers, uh, the pulleys all the polished stuff that's on this motor that we don't have for the other motor. We're gonna be swapping all that over and then put the car, everything back in the car, get it up and running, and then we'll worry about all the cosmetic stuff afterwards. Because like right now we have everything in this box. Right now in, in this box is the heads, the turbos, the manifolds, all the rest of the polished stuff. You know, we got the polished rear timing cover, the front timing covers right here, rear coolant pipe, motor mounts, 
uh, some of the polished uh, intercooler piping. This is my original intake, which I'm not sure if I'm going to keep or not. But, um, yeah, everything is in this box, parts of the Motordyne exhaust. Uh, the dry shaft actually opened up the hood and just slid it in there just to get it out of the way. So there's definitely a lot to do. And now that the car is back here, you know, I'm going to try to, you know, dedicate my weekends on working on this thing and get more content for you guys on the twin turbo build and what's going on and how we're going to be, you know, progressing with it as, as the time goes. Some of you guys are going to be asking like, why, why, why is the car back? Why is it not done? Um, what happened basically but uh, there were some complications at socal z with the partners or whatever you know i'm not going to go into detail because it's not my place it's not my problem <laughs> but I was advised by rudy to just pick up the car because you know it would be best which i did and you know so from here on we're going to be uh finishing ruby ourselves rudy's going back to nissan and once we once we have the motor in jd's going to come in help me out on uh putting everything else back together the way it should since he has his twin turbo g35 and he's messed with it quite a few times he's actually pulled out his own motor quite a few times already in his driveway so um i'd rather have him help me out on putting this back together i know ruby would was down as well but that's quite a bit of a drive for him since he's all the way in riverside so luckily we have jd close by so he's going to be the one helping me out on putting this thing back together Comment, comment down below guys what do you guys think should i shave the engine may have that all painted out but uh you know let me know comment down below but again thank you guys for always supporting the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one